What up, BCAS? It's your boy, D. Stu, but today we're gonna touch on the no rush side of things. This is one of the first videos that we're gonna be making on the no rush, on the no rush side of things. Dang, I messed that all up. But anyways, y'all know what I'm saying. Stick around, enjoy the content. So today we are gonna be playing with the gun. I got a G2, it is empty, no clipping. Y'all see it, ain't nothing in there. So just so y'all know for this video. But today we are gonna be putting detail. All right, we're gonna be filling this in with some detail. Hopefully it'll make it pop. So y'all stick around. I think I'm gonna do it in a blue. What y'all think? Should I do blue? I think I'm gonna do blue, but we're gonna do both sides. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. Let's go. So first things first, get you some of that non-acetone nail polish remover. Y'all see it right there. You're gonna take a little dab of that, put it on a napkin, and you're gonna clean off the part that you're gonna be applying the nail polish to. So here we go. So like I said, not much, but we're gonna take a paper towel. We're gonna apply that on there. Just a little bit. All right. So once you've done that, you can get your nail polish. And this is the base coat before you put on the color coat. We're probably gonna do the blue, like I showed y'all. But we're gonna fill this in. Don't put a lot on it. You don't need a lot, guys. So don't go too crazy with it, All right? Let's make sure. It's drying well before we get going. All right, can you see? All right. So you're just going to put that in there. And you don't got to put a lot on it, guys. You really don't. You really don't got to put a lot on it. So who said no polishing guns didn't, didn't go together? Because <laughs> uh, it definitely does. All right. So that's what it looks like for now. You basically got it all filled in. We're gonna let that dry, all right? Let that dry. And we're just gonna wipe it off, all right? You ain't gotta scrub it too hard, just wipe the surface, guys. That's all you gotta do. Y'all see that? Do y'all see Y'all see how she look? There you go. So once we got that part done, now we're gonna add our blue. So now we're gonna add our blue and this is the blue that I'm using right here. So here we go. Same thing as before guys, you do not have to put a lot. Like you don't gotta sit here and drown your gun in nail polish, <laughs> you know? Don't drown your gun in nail polish. So here we go. So we have that. We gotta have that. Silver, black with the blue. Oh, that's gonna be some more. 
I could have got fancy and left some of it, like left it towards white. That would have been, that would have been fancy, I guess. So now we're about to do the same process. We're gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna go right back to the acetone and smooth it off, wipe it off and let it dry. And then we're gonna add a clear coat. All right, so now that it's dry, it's time to take it off. Scrub it too hard, just you know, get it off. If you push down, it'll probably take the stuff out of the engraved part, which we don't want. All right, so can we see that? Is that focused? So we can get that nice little seal on it. And this should this should hold up. It should be good for a very, very, very long time. So there you have it, guys. And then we're gonna take and we're gonna repeat that same process again. And we're gonna clean the top part of the gel off. Oh, let's let it dry. Alright, so now that it's dry. We're going to do the same thing. was helpful to you make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn those bell notifications we're going to be dropping a lot more content gun related uh chicken related garden related like just us just us guys and don't forget you know we always stay up on the box to vlogs so thank you for subscribing to the channel and hitting that thumb you know what i'm saying button